Isn't this the cutest? <laughs> Come on, blend. I feel like I'm running out of time. Voila, Charlotte Tilbury products, almost all of them. I just love using her makeup. Hello everyone, today we're gonna do a look using mostly Charlotte Tilbury products. And I'm excited because she has one of my very favorite brands of makeup. Her products are really good quality. Her aesthetic is just beautiful, classy, not necessarily crazy, colorful and over the top, but just overall, beautiful products, exciting launches, and I just love using her makeup. Right now I'm using her Magic Cream. And this is a really good cream to prep your skin with. So she's all about skin prep and she has several products to prep your skin with before makeup. And she says that it's, it really plumps your skin. It has good for your skin ingredients. I only have this, her Magic Cream. She also has a serum and a light Magic Cream and some other stuff which I haven't tried because it's just way too expensive. Before going in with foundation, I'm gonna use her Flawless Filter. This is one of her most popular products, and I'm gonna use it in the areas where I want more glow. Here on my forehead, high points of the cheek, down my nose, a little bit of the chin, a little bit on the cupid's bowl. And this gives your skin a really pretty glow. A great product to go under your foundation. I'm going to be using her Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have it in the shade Warm, 7 Warm. Um, I'm guessing that when I went to buy it, I had self tanner on because this is really way too dark. Not dark, it's really just too warm. But that's okay, it still looks beautiful. And I'm gonna start blending it out here on my cheek, starting at the center where I need the most coverage and working it out in a light layer around the face. All right, foundation is done. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows with my trusty stencil. Looks good. The next step is going to be concealer. This was a recent launch just a few months ago. And I gotta tell you the truth, I don't think I loved it the first few times that I tried it. So I'm excited to try it again, give it another go. So since this is brightening, I am going to put it in all of the areas that I want to brighten. And that includes here around the nasal labial fold. Also here, where I have a little shadow, and I'm gonna blend it out with a brush. This is a Sephora 71 concealer brush. Before I set my concealer with powder, I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, Hollywood contour wand to give some more sculpting to the face. Along the jawline. Down the nose. Now as I blend, I'm going to just kind of tap, stipple it to blend it in. I don't want to really use swiping motions because I don't want to move the foundation that I have underneath. Wow, you have to <laughs> kind of blend fast because it does start to set pretty quickly. Come on, blend. Oh, I missed a dot here. I feel like I'm running out of time. All right, there we go. That does not look blended on my monitor. <laughs> what a nice color this gives the skin. What color is this? Oh, it's fair medium. Yeah, they have two shades, fair medium, medium deep. This is a fair medium. Okay, that's good for now. I'm going to take my foundation brush and just go over the edges to kind of blend everything more seamlessly. That's the concealer, the foundation, 
and the contour. Yeah, now my cheekbones look more sculpted. Now I'm going to set the face with two powders. I will use her brightening powder in the areas that I where I put the concealer, the radiant concealer, the areas I want to brighten, and then her flawless powder, her pressed powder to set the outside of the face. Oh, before I get started, let me just get rid of those lines that are starting to settle. And this powder, like the concealer, I wasn't super thrilled with. My first impression was eh. So I'm glad that I'm trying it out again. It's a very finely milled powder. I'm just going to press it under the eye using my Beauty Blender Puff. Center of the face. Around the smile lines. So I've used the brightening powder to set and now I will move on to her press powder to set lightly the outside of the face. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use her bronzer. I have it in the shade three tan and a rougher 22 brush to apply bronzer in the same areas where I put the contour. And also here across the nose where the sun would naturally hit you. I love this shade. It's not too red, it's not too gray, it's not too brown. It looks like what a real tan would look like on my skin. And for eyes, I am going to use her classic Pillow Talk Quad. So we're gonna start with this shade all over the lid. I was watching one of her, one of her lives here on YouTube and it said that it wasn't this exact quad, but that this shade has a primer built in so you don't need to put primer first. I don't know if that's, if that applies to every quad. She curates her quads in a way that it makes it very easy to create a look. She tells you first step, you know, use this one. This is gonna be the second one to enhance. That is going to go in a rainbow motion on the crease. I'll show you now. Now we'll be using the Enhance shade. So that goes here in the crease. I'm gonna start flicking upward and outward. And you can tell already that it's adding more definition to the eye, it's shaping the eye. Oh no, I think some of the stencil is rubbing off. Or maybe the color's too light, I'm not sure. I think I need to get a darker color to match my eyebrows better. Because otherwise, you don't see a seamless transition between the hair and the areas that don't have any hair. And I'm also going to use that same shade here under the lashes. Next, I'm gonna move on to the number three shade, which is a smoke one. So this is what you're supposed to use, which she suggests you use to kind of add more definition to the eye. So I'll add it here in the outer V. And finally, I'm going to add the pop shade. This, she says to put it on with your finger. It's normally a glittery. I'm not sure if this one has a base to it or if it's just, oh wow. 
that's pretty. Wow, this is beautiful. And now I'm gonna take her powder concealer. I have it in Champagne Glow, and we'll put it in the inner corners. And I'm also going to put it underneath the brow. And this is a Refer 16. Okay, now I want to put it, the same highlighter here in the lower lash line, but I want a smaller brush for that. I'm gonna take this smudge brush uh, from Sigma, an E21. And now I'm gonna take the Refer 16 again, that's, and I'll add some highlighter to the, down the nose, the tip of the nose. And then I'm going to use her powder and sculpt brush to add highlighter right here to the high point of the cheeks and also the temple. Wow, this is amazing. So pretty. And it blends in very easily. It's almost as if when it touches your skin, it becomes like a cream. Beautiful color and beautiful texture. I really like how everything is coming out so far. Now we're going to do a little bit of eyeliner. I don't have any of hers, so I'm using my House Labs eyeliner in Onyx, Onyx Gold, I think it is. All products will be linked down below. Oh wow, what happened to this eyeliner? I messed it up here and here. <laughs> Good news that it smudges. Let's try to clean that up. Mm, this part, I just need it to go away. Well, I'm afraid that this eyeliner will remain a little messed up. Not a huge deal. I'm also gonna add some here in the inner, like tuck it into the inner corner. The thing with this eyeliner is that it flakes a little bit. So I'm already getting fallout, little black speckles under my eye. Okay, just a little bit of eyeliner. And a little down here in the lower lash line as well. And I'm crossing my fingers that the fallout will come off easily with a brush. So far, so good. Let's grab a clean brush to, to get rid of that fallout. Yep, no problem. Oh, and I'm going to use, I have a mini of her mascara, um, the Pillow Talk push-up lashes that I got as a free gift when I went to get the, um, the blush and the contour wand. They gave me this mascara and a mini lipstick that I'm going to be putting on today. And I've only tried this mascara on one time that day that I got it. Looking at the claims, it says that it's a very, it's a, it's a very natural looking mascara in the sense that it doesn't clump. I like the bristles in the, in the comb. It's got plastic spiky bristles. And I'm just nestling the wand in there. Oops, I think I put too much on this eye. Now I wonder if these little spikes will get my 
sparse lower lashes here. A little bit, yeah. Hey guys, I never see you, but you're there. I'm liking this mascara. It is separating my lashes. It's a little bit lengthening. In general, it seems to be easy to work with. Good for a beginner, I'd say. And these spikes, and these spikes really hold on to your to your lashes and comb them through. So I'm looking at my makeup and man, no wonder her pillow talk shades are so popular. I am loving this eyeshadow. It is flattering, it is wearable. Man, that pop, what is it, the pop glitter? It really is beautiful. Really digging the eyes. And now I am ready for the, I think it's her latest launch, um, the matte eyeshadow, not eyeshadows, blushes. And I got mine in peach pop. And I'm wondering whether to put it in the back of my hand and put on a brush there or just put it directly on the face. And I think I am going to live dangerously and put it um, directly on the face. Yeah, let's do that. But in case that it wants to dry too quickly, let me have a brush ready. Yeah, Sephora 47, ready to go. So it looks really bright at first. Yikes. Then, let's just blend it in, tap it in, and bringing the blush kind of high here under the eyes so that we get that lifted effect. It was so much fun. I was looking through Charlotte Tilbury's um, YouTube channel. Just for overall, um, you know, I wanted to get more familiar with her techniques, the techniques that she uses for certain products and how she describes them, blah, blah, blah. And, okay, so I'm putting more so anyway, as I was watching her videos, and this is not the first time that I see this being mentioned, to not place your blush down here where we used to do it, but to instead put it like right under the eye and bring it up to the temple because of what I said that um, gives the, the lifted effect. Beautiful, oh my God. And this is, yeah, again, the peach, peach pop. All right, let's do the other cheek. It has to go under the highlighter. I mean, I'm not gonna put it up that high, as high as the highlighter, right? Maybe, almost. <laughs> Blend. Yeah, it's right there with the highlighter, pretty much. So I might add some more highlighter on top of it because I might be covering it a little bit. I'm not sure. Give me some more color, please. More blending. Bring out some here to the apples of the cheeks. You know what, I'm gonna put a tiny bit. The thing is that I have it twisted to off. Let me bring it to on so that, cause I need more product. Here we go, there, okay. Let's put a tiny bit, just to make the look more cohesive. Let's bring the color to other parts of the face. Tiny, tiny bit there on the nose. Boop, tiny bit. And just tap it with a brush. I love this brush. I mentioned it in my video. I think it was my most recent video where I talked about my top um, go-to face brushes. Okay, some up here. Wonderful. That's what was missing, the blush. And it is nice to have this blush be a matte finish because I, I already have a lot of glow going on in the eyes and the skin that this just kind of, you know, balances everything out so that I don't look like a disco ball. Just some healthy, glowy skin with beautiful um, color blush. I'm loving it. What's next? And now we're gonna do lips and I'm gonna use the lip liner and it's so little already. Let me compare it. If we compare it to my new iconic nude. Oh, look at this little guy. I love this. We're gonna use it with that sample that I was talking about, that sample of the mascara that came with lipstick. Isn't this the cutest, <laughs> the cutest little thing? Just for context, for reference, this is a full-sized one, and this is a little one. So yeah, this is Pillow Talk. We're not gonna use Pillow Talk. We're gonna use the Walk of No Shame. First, 
the lip liner. I love Charlotte Tilbury's packaging. Like this compact, how pretty is it? And I don't have any of her pop shots, but that packaging is really, really pretty. Okay, so let's get started with the lips. And I love this color because it's, it's like the shade, the same color as my lips, but darker, right? So it's perfect to give them the definition I want without it clashing with the color of my lips. Not clashing, I mean, but you know what I mean? Like it's within the natural range, I would say, just because it is just very close to the color of my lips, just a, a, a few shades darker. Okay, do we do the overlining of the Cupid's bow? Eh, let's just follow the line. And there we go. We go in with the Walk of No Shame. This looks like, um, I would say a terracotta red. Very nice, very nice. Now as the final step, well, close to final step is her setting spray, which is amazing. To set the face and some clear brow gel, which I don't have hers. I don't know if she has some brow gel, but I normally use the Anastasia clear brow gel. And this is the final step for this look. And we are done. What do you think? I love these colors. I am loving the shimmer in my eyes. The, the colors, I'm just so in love with these shades on the eyes. All of it, like this, this Pillow Talk quad. Wow, so good. The bronzer, well, like I mentioned, the bronzer, I love the shade. It looks like a natural tan. Her new, her new highlighter, the powder highlighter, is really pretty. I'm absolutely loving it. I have it here in under the brow and in inner corner. I have it obviously here in the high points of the face. I'm wondering if I should put just a tiny bit more. Why not? I love seeing the highlighter when it first goes on with the brush. Let's see, where did I put it? Here, so let's add just a little bit more because I did put some of the, some of the matte blush over it. So let's bring it back, wow, yeah. And over here in the temples. What I don't like about this highlighter is that the pan turns and it makes this rattling noise. Yeah, that, mm -mm. not for this price. Should not be making a rattling noise. Anyway, um, the other side. There we go. Nose. And that's it. Voila, this is the look. Charlotte Tilbury products, almost all of them. And I hope you guys liked it. I had so much fun doing it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.